Welcome. I want to talk about tingling, hypoesthesia, and hyperesthesia, particularly in the distal or furthest part of your arm that goes into the hand and fingers. Hypoesthesia generally is a condition where you feel less sensation. Hyperesthesia means you feel more sensation. Tingling has its own definition. You feel something vibrating, moving, something you continuously feel. The question is where potentially can it be coming from? There's four main areas. You have the brachial plexus of the neck, which comes from the cervical plexus. Through that brachial plexus, you have the thoracic outlet syndrome where potentially as those nerves make its way down, you can be getting compression anywhere along that area. More commonly, you can feel in the elbow area, more on the ulnar side, mainly in this particular area, which will cause tingling or burning into the little finger. And quite commonly, carpal tunnel syndrome, the median nerve in the wrist area being compressed, more commonly in females and males, people that type a lot, knit a lot, use your hands a lot, fine manipulative movements, where you can get compression along the median nerve as a result of inflammation, or any type of adhesions or potential trauma or problems you could have experienced in the past. Now, the location of where you're experiencing the tingling, the burning, the hypoesthesia, the hyperesthesia, the less or more sensation, if you're feeling it like in these first two fingers, that's generally a C6 nerve root. If you feel it in the Middle finger, more of a C7 nerve root. The last two fingers, more of a C8 nerve root. Those are the most common areas that we can trace back to the neck area because if there is compression, uh, a disc, a bulging disc, uh, osteoarthritic changes, spondylosis, degeneration, or you do have irritation affecting that nerve root, this will help put the puzzle together potentially where that nerve is being inflamed or irritated. So when the clinician or physician finds and locates the area that potentially is controlling it, at that point, they would make a correct diagnosis and give you a treatment protocol or prognosis of how well you're gonna do or what to expect in the future. But the most important thing of this video is to understand that there is something causing your symptom and you don't want to ignore it. Leave your questions below. I ask you to share this video with others and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.